Hey everybody, Yekiris here. Welcome back to the Long Dark. Alright, so here we are in Forlorn Muskeg. We got a pile of coal, some guts that are curing. I want to go ahead and take it to the opposite side of the uh, of the cave. Take a look here at the weather. I think what I'm going to try to do, it's pretty cold. The mouse is like going crazy. I uh, upgraded my GPU and my CPU and my computer and reinstalled Windows and all that stuff. So I'm still trying to get used to things again. You know how that is, I'm sure. Um, well, most of you do, probably. Um, let's see here, stones. So I'm going to take all these stone or all these coals and transport them to the far side, because I'd like to go over and check out the radio tower. <sighs> and if then I can drop any of this gear. Yeah, I know, I know you're heavy, but not not by much. So I'll take all that, and I'll take this rabbit pelt. Not that we really need it, but. After we explore that, I probably will take this back to the railroad leading back to Mystery Lake and dump it there. Um, my thinking is, let me go ahead and bring out the lantern. Uh, it's probably a little difficult for you guys to see. It's pretty di difficult for me to see, actually. So, there we go. Okay, let's move a little bit quicker here. He's going to get tired pretty quick, but... Just got back from Puerto Rico yesterday. I work this afternoon, but uh, I woke up a little early and wanted to get an episode out for you guys since I'd been gone for like a week and a half or so. So let's uh, let's get into it. I say it's, a, it's quite a bit colder in the long dark than it was in Puerto Rico. It's even at 15 degrees inside this cave. I can't remember exactly which way to go, but we'll get there. Dogs are playing behind me, so if, oh, that's the wrong way. Wait, hold on, is it? No, it's not. Okay. There we go, let's move here. A little more purpose. Feels like we're making progress here. There we go. Hungry. Alright, so I'm just going to leave all this coal right here. It's just outside the door of the cave. Or the exit of the cave. Negative 42. Woo, it's cold. Okay. So yeah, I'll leave it like right here. And we'll have to warm up again, I'm sure. Oh, hold on. I need to pick... I actually need to... You know what? That doesn't make sense. Let me, let me do this inside since I have things that need to be cured. Might as well go inside. Let me set my mouse to it. Seems really. Oh yeah, for some reason it's like really high. Because I did have to reinstall the long dark. I wonder if it reset those settings. Oh, that feels so much better. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna drop all these coals. Uh, move over slightly. Drop this. Drop these two. this deer hide and rabbit pelt there we go okay there we go all right i think we're good there extinguish this no need to be burning that oil all right let's go see if we can find this i'm pretty sure that there's the uh Yeah, I think we go this way. And get a red flare out just in case we need it in a pinch. Pretty certain we just go over here. There it is. Okay. Yeah, it's not that far. The dogs are just so happy to be back from the kennels. I think there's a box up here or something. No, not one of these, but like an actual crate or something. Okay. Backpack, dead guy, granola bar. What happened there? I have to hold it. Oh. Yeah, I need to reset that as well. So cold. Okay. I have it 
set that I have to hold that to do a complete search while I'm searching around. Okay, I don't see anything else. Alright, let's get back inside. Roll back up. I'll do that offline. I'll just have to muddle through it a little bit. in the cave warm up we got the coal on this side of it i'm gonna try to get this over to the transition zone on the railroad tracks and then i'll i'm not sure where i'll go from there if i'll go back to the camp office and uh recover there or i'll probably be very cold by that time so we'll, we'll wait and see all right but in the meantime i need to lay down here and warm up and probably the most efficient way to do that is using the bearskin bedroll um yeah I'll go ahead and do an hour of sleep see how that goes might not be fully warmed up by then no I am good okay that up grab all this stuff the most important thing is the coal I might have to drop some gear. And then we'll grab the hides. Uh, the guts. I'm going to let them cure here cuz they're going to bring they're going to be bring pain if I if I try to do anything else. I might forget about those, but that's not a huge deal. Okay, so let's see here. Going to have a little drink of water. Then we'll get moving. All right. Where are we at now? Wait. We're not too bad. Not too bad. All right, let's go for it. No, no, that's not what I want to do. All right. I think I'm just going to run straight down this to the tracks and then take the tracks straight across. So rather than try to go up and over a bunch of hills and things like that. This feels like the safer option as long as... Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're going to definitely be freezing by the time we get there, but our health is doing pretty good for us. But there's the derailment over there. And I think we're going to be okay. Just got to watch for any movement. I think I'm just going to take... I'm going to go out in the middle where I can see really well. Uh, rather than get up against this hill because I have a feeling there probably is going to be a wolf over here somewhere. If I was a developer, that's where I'd put a wolf. Let's see if I can make it across here without doing too much backtracking. Got a huge pile of sticks on the other side of the cave, too. I think. Or did I pick those up? I picked all those up, didn't I? I think I'm carrying all those. Oh, well. We'll, we'll use them. It's not a bad thing, that's for sure. Never felt so cold in my life. At this point, when it's this cold, 30, minus 30 versus minus 55, honestly, it just, it really doesn't matter. It's just going to be so cold that you're going to end up taking damage anyway. Oh, I didn't know if you could do that or not, but it seemed like, it seemed like it was the, uh, I was already halfway across. So, definitely want some free calories, though. Alright. So, yeah, so it seemed like I was halfway across. Might as well just keep going. Just don't hesitate. Alright, we'll cross over here. Let's see what is a little darker blue, you know? So, like, I think over there is going to break right there, but here we're sh we should be safe. Uh, 
Now there's a wolf just on the, well, not just on the other side, but he's up over there. We got some distance between us and him, so we should be fine. Why am I on a, <laughs> I said I was on an incline enough to uh, sprain myself. That's, I get spraining yourself on the tracks though. I could see that happening pretty easy. Sort of an awkward thing to walk on. It's almost like it wasn't really made for people to walk on. It was made for something, some other purpose. I don't see anything over there on that hill where I was a little worried. If I stay in the middle, I'm okay, though. I think it's when I... Oh. Yeah, I'll just stay in the middle. If I can. It's hard to look around and stay in the middle, though. Definitely want to save a little bit of speed, and I use that term very loosely, because of, uh, I see those cattails there, I'm just going to leave those for now. Use that term loosely because of, uh, the wind being in our face, it's almost like we're at a fast walk, like a mall walker pace there. Alright, so then when we come back, we'll head on over to the, uh, to the forge over there and uh, there's gonna be a cave over that way in that corner somewhere so it should be a lot closer and then we can I hear I think I hear a wolf howling way off in a distance but all right let's get inside of here scrap metal okay we'll take that I guess thin wool sweater um I think we're good on that, but I'm going to take it anyway. Another flare, we'll take that. A couple more pieces of coal. Awesome. Alright. Eh, we'll probably just... Oh, there's the bear walking. Straight, if you look at the left side of my screen, right in the middle, you see him walking. He's kind of walking the same direction we are. So... Almost feels like we're on a collision course. I hope he changes direction. I'm gonna try to hustle through here though. Definitely be needing a rest when we get back to the camp office. If this wind wasn't in my face, we'd be pretty good shape. I think we're gonna be okay though. His pace and our pace and doing all the mathematics in my head. It equals survival. We'll be okay. Plus, I'll just stalk us until we leave the region, and then we'll be fine. So, And he's taking up a little pause anyway, so that's good. And I'm definitely not stopping for these cattails. He's back on the road again, so we're going to move. Try to get out ahead of him a little bit. I'm going to move over this way just a little bit, but not enough to annoy these wolves over here. There we go. I have to turn the music down too. Everything everything got reset. I figured it would save the settings and preferences and all that stuff in the cloud, but apparently it doesn't. Okay. So yeah, I was going to drop the coal here, but we might as well just head straight to the cabin because we're going to need to warm up anyway and rest because we're getting pretty tired. Even though it's only midday, we've been hauling around a lot of weight. I definitely think we don't have to worry about cabin fever for a little while been outside so much these last couple episodes 
soon as we get through here, I'm gonna go ahead and turn down the music. It's a little, a little loud for me. I can't. I don't. I I think I could. I think I was missing out on hearing some wolves howling and things like that. So we're protected here, but it doesn't matter because we're freezing anyway. Let me just do the turn the music down here, guys. Yeah, you can see how it's all. We'll turn it down significantly. I like a little bit, but audio output. No, it's headphones. Save that. Okay. Could start a fire here, use the coal, do that, but I don't want it to blow out. And two, I'm kind of a miser when it comes to the coal. Want to use any more than I have to. Hopefully, the wind's shifted direction for us. It doesn't look like it has. I don't know. It's hard to tell which way is the wind blowing. Yeah, it's still in our face. So we'll just keep trudging back. Yeah, it's actually really bad. So slow. I think some of these trees would block this wind. Not doing much at all. About to get too tired to run, too. Oh well, we'll just take it nice and slow. Could have a cup of coffee if I wanted to, but I don't think it's really worth it at this point. I think I'd rather save that for time that I really needed it. You know, like I need a tactical coffee dose and go from there. See, I'm not getting any wind block from these uh, trees at all. If I get back here, will I get it? See, it's not giving me any wind block. Oh, there we go. Finally. Okay. Glad I took that hour nap, though. Definitely. Definitely is going to be... Our saving grace here. If we can slide in just before we get it completely exhausted. Hungry. Frozen. Just not having a very good day right now, physically. But that's okay. I knew it was going to be a... This will be the toughest one. This is the longest haul for the coal. The next one shouldn't be as long. And I don't plan on getting rabbits and deer and things like that either, so. Should be a lot better. We're almost there, though. Almost there. This wind is what really is just making it slow. My goodness, we just really did not have any luck when it came to this wind. It's a temperature now, negative 40 still. Alright, come on, let's go. Oh, as far as the Wolf Among Us 2, that was not a legitimate email. I come to find out later. Emailed the company to make sure it was legit and and they were like, nope. I was like, okay. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll just still do a series on it. I'll do the first one and, and then do uh, the second one just for fun. I do like that series. I like those. I do like the Telltale games anyway, so I just do that just for fun. 
and just do like a binge drop of the videos just drop all the videos all in one day let you guys watch them whenever you want that way it doesn't really interrupt the uh, release schedule of the long dark or anything I think I might do that whenever it comes out Just getting. <laughs> Let's add some more weight. Hey, we just got exhausted. So, at least we're not dying of thirst. We're just coming around the corner. So. Get inside, warm up, heal up, rest up. Should be good. Shelter has never looked so good. In we go. All right. Ah, oh, warmth. Okay. Well, let's um, let's drop some things here. We got this bear hide cured, deer hide cured. I now have another one I can put over here. So let's go ahead and drop that. Drop that deer hide right there. Drop these rabbit furs. I should have a few of them here. Let's move this one over slightly since it's. Not quite cured yet. It won't take long, though. Yeah, it's not, not at all cured. That's what that is. Um, let's see here. Got a bunch of coal. Where am I keeping my coal? I think I'll just keep it up by the the fireplace. So I think I have all the other firewood up here anyway, so I might as well just do that. Yeah, I had some on the floor, so. And I'll just drop it all here. This way will be easier. 22 pieces of coal weighing, wow, almost like 13, 14 pounds. 6.6 .6 kilograms. Seems like a lot. All right, we'll add some more reclaimed wood to the mix here. And a bunch of sticks, a bunch more sticks. So whenever we need to do any cooking or anything, we are in good shape. All right, wonderful. Um, all right, so we're definitely tired. We're taking damage because we're tired, so... I'm just going to go ahead and eat something, drink, and uh, get some rest. And um, I don't think I'm going to use the tea this time. I don't think I want to use a tea. The tea would definitely help, but we're not in dire straits right now. Find some place to escape this cold. Um, food. Got here cooked. 500 plus another 582. That'll do just fine. Still got all that bear meat back there at the uh, Trapper Homestead. Ton of bear meat. All right, let's go get some much needed rest. Well, not a bad little coal run. We're we've got a lot here and a lot more wood, so we're doing pretty good. Yeah, some pieces of what is that? It looks like maybe fir wood mixed in there somewhere. It's hard to tell. Okay, well let's get some rest. So let's eat first. Granola bar, 300, 500 plus 300. That, I might do that. Yeah, might just do that for variety. Just for the heck of it. How are we doing on cattails? we got to be doing better on cattails now. Oh, we got up to 26 cattails. Wow. That's really good. Um, didn't realize we'd collected that many, but very happy about that. There we go. There we go. Okay. So let's get some rest. Let's try to do about 10 hours here. Much needed rest. Will's going to feel a lot better come morning in the middle of the night. <laughs> oh, yeah. Middle of the night. And uh, let's get a drink. There we go. We're up to about 70%. 70, 70%. So no, uh, probably about 65% health. So... Got a little work to do. I might just hang out here, try to do some reading if possible, and just relax uh, another another day. Um, what can I do in the middle of the night? Let's take a look here. 56 matches. We've been kind of hovering right in the mid-50s range of matches for, it seems like, weeks. But uh, can I do any repairs? I don't think I can repair in the dark. Yeah. I could definitely 
Do I need that for anything? No. It's a sweatshirt. That's a thin wool shirt, though. Let me see here. It's a little warmer. Yeah, we'll switch that out. 20% uh, waterproof as well. Yeah, it's made of cotton, so it's heavy cotton, but this is a wool. I'm going to stick with the wool, so I'm just going to throw that on. Yeah, okay. Worn plaid shirt. Another cotton shirt, but that's okay. This is a little more windproof, but it, and they're both about the same condition. This one's better? It's not as waterproof. A little bit more armor as well. Then I guess we'll take that one. Okay. I don't think that's going to make a huge difference at all, but I still need some more underwear. We're going to have to figure out where we're going to find some of that. How's our hat doing? 87. I guess it would be easier just to go over here and look at the condition. Sort by condition. We're not wearing that. Everything else is we're pretty good. I'm about ready to start repairing some things once they dip into the high 50s. So we'll be ready for that. Okay. Well, I'm going to fumble my way back up the stairs. I think I missed my turn. There we go. We're going. Yeah, there we go. I think I'll just kind of rest and relax until morning, probably. I don't know. Not a whole lot for me to do out here. I guess I could go out and chop wood, but then I'm going to freeze. Take damage, which is kind of like the opposite of what I want to do right now. Hmm. Sounds windy, too. So I couldn't even start a fire to keep myself warm. Go from branch to branch with a fire. Or, yeah, branch. Um, Yeah, let's just get some rest here. Get some more sleep. Really wish the Aurora would kick on and I could read right now, but I'm not going to be able to do that. Okay, let's just pass some time. I'll die if I don't get some food soon. Oh no, you won't, Will. Relax. So so dramatic. So dramatic. We'll give you some more water though. <sighs> Speaking of, I need to drink myself. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I'm just going pat. Might as well be in the bed. Might as well be comfortable. Um, let's see here. Yeah. Probably just keep doing this. I'll probably do like... Uh, let's go about four hours and just hang. You know what? I'm going to interrupt probably here. The last hour. Because I'm ready to get some more sleep. So yeah, let's do that. Another drink of water. That way we wake up ready to go. It's going to be cold though. I know it is because it's, the mornings now are just so nasty. Let's go for about five hours. Do I want to... Let's go ahead and eat something. Let's do that. I'll just eat the whole thing. I don't really care. Let's go about... Uh... Yeah, let's go five hours. Should be topped off by then. We'll do six. And if I wake up before that, that's fine. I'm sure I will. I'll wake up fully rested. There we go. Perfect. And it sounds like a blizzard outside, of course. But uh, we can always... I think I gained a little bit of health there, actually. Um, I think... Oh, oh I, I've got to change that. It's annoying me. Controls. Uh, That's not it. Mouse the screen. Mouth smooth. No, thank you. I'll smooth my own mouse. Aim sensitivity. I probably want to bring that back. If I remember, I have them equal. That'll throw me off. Gamepad. I don't want a gamepad. I don't think it matters, but... And then I think there's... It's Is it under... Well, no. Nah, key bindings. No. Accessibility. Interaction mode. Press and hold. Okay, so we just want to click press. So, yeah, that's what I want. 
Dampen camp or motions. Subtitle size large for you guys. Uh, I don't think I even have subtitles on, actually, now that I think about it. Auto walk, eating and drinking sound. Filtering out the eating and drinking. Why? Is that an issue? Are we really that fragile as a society? Come on. Is that like, come on, what did it trigger somebody? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. I think we're good there. Food. All right. That's better. So much better. Whoa. Well, good news is it's, it's about as cold as it was when I walked in, but this, uh, this looks vicious. What, what if I, what if I stand back here? Yeah, that doesn't help much. Well, we're going to be reading books, I guess, for a little while here. So I, I got food on board. I think these are all red. Yes, I think this is my collection of red books. Yeah, I should just burn all those books. Be done with them. Do I have any left? No, no not down here. I think they're in this, uh, this drawer. I don't need any more uh, field dressing on that, so... Hat. Field dressing, field dressing, field dressing, kitchen. All the all of the all the skills that I'm already level five on. <laughs> okay, well, um, I guess I'm done with fishing and all that. What do we want to do? Do you guys want to go? Do you guys want to go fishing? We might be able to do that if I could stumble my way over and find a fishing hut in this absolute whiteout blizzard. Let me see if maybe I could do that. I got coal, so we could stay warm in there. Man, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe repair. Let's do repairs. That's probably more sensible. We're not low on food. So let's do that. Let's do repairs. Let me find my... Where's my uh, lantern? There we go. 42%. Okay. Actually, hold on. Lantern. I want to refill this thing before I forget. Uh oh, stand by. Take, take two of those. I think that should be enough. Very close. Very close. Very close. Okay. That's fine. Alright, let's go grab some cloth from here. I could eat anything. Just wait for this storm to pass. And then let's see. What do we want to try to do first? The underwear is very valuable because it's just so rare to find. So let's go ahead and... Plus we can level up our, our mending skill a little bit. Practice makes perfect, right? Nice. 100%. Uh, you are not... I could always tear up the shirt, too, that I'm not going to use anymore. Storm pass? I think the storm has passed. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and harvest this up. There we go. Alright, how are we doing on cloth? Uh, it sounds like picking up again. We got five cloth, so we're in pretty good shape. Oh, I got some metal that I could drop over here. We need to make some arrowheads or whatever. Whenever we decide to go do that at the forge, we'll just add it to the pile of metal that we already have. There, I've got four four cloth over here as well. Emergency supply. All right, let's keep let's keep mending. I could. I don't think I'm ready to do that yet. I guess I could check. Let me see what. How we're doing with. Grab one of these. How many do I need? I need a cured gut as well. Okay. How much do I get? Repair amount 28%. So it's cutting into my repair amount. So I'm not quite ready for that yet. That's okay. I don't want to lose out any. I don't want to leave any condition points on the board. If at all possible. So. 
Okay. So what else was there to repair? We had other things. That, that, and then this simple parka. Again, it's going to leave a couple of repair points on the... We're going to miss out on. But I need to kill time anyway. I think that this maxes out at 30, I think. Takes two cloth. Which is a lot less difficult to find. Or difficult to come by than like hide. So I'm going to go ahead and go for it with this one. Plus we get a little bit of extra warmth when we repair. We get 100% of its it's capability. Nice. How's our mending doing? I'm just curious here. Okay, we're getting we're getting there eventually, but uh, sixty-five percent chance. Repair time decreased by ten percent. All right, good deal. Let's take a peek outside, see what's happening. This looks good. This looks like some good traveling weather. Negative seventeen degrees Celsius. Uh, kind of foggy, little slight snow just coming down. Um, I'm ready to go. So let's, some let's grab some water here. Read your mind, Will. 2.37. I'm going to take both of these. There we go. I feel better. Travel like that. We're at 25. We're going to go grab a bunch of coal. Be a little heavy coming back. What am I carrying that I don't need to carry? I can always tear up some birch bark and have that ready to go. So let's do that real quick two of those for 10 minutes and we'll see what happens with the weather okay wonderful and then pretty sure I have water at the uh, Trapper Homestead too but if not we're okay 26 cattails that's a bit excessive um, yeah let's let's drop about 16 of those for this little mission I think I'll just put them up here Yeah, let's, let's leave them here. Or do I want, I'll leave them downstairs with all my other food. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm going to end up losing track of those. Do I have anything here? Yes, we got cattails. Cool. Uh, I wasn't... We'll find some more on the way as well. So we got a nice supply of cattails. We got 38 cattails. Good traveling food. I'm going to take... Uh, I kind of want to take two flares, but... At the same time, I think I'll be fine with one. I, I mean, I, I go like 30 episodes and not use a flare, so I think one will do me for one episode here. I got two, actually. I actually have two. I'm going to drop one of those. When I think about it. Just up here with our flare supply. Everything else is looking good. We're going to need to make a new bow pretty soon. Um, sewing kit, getting a little long in a tooth. But should be good for the trip. So let's go ahead and get going here. Another drink here. All right. Let's roll out. Let's go find this cave. Um, not too keen on the... It feels like a blizzard is moving in. It was decent now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait here just about an hour. We'll just go upstairs and rest. That should get us to nightfall. No problem. So let's go up here and rest for an hour. See what happens with the weather. I don't want to get caught out in Forlorn Muskeg in this type of weather. Let's just go ahead and uh, sleep here. Seventy-one days, seven hours, twelve minutes. Another option is just to head on over to. Uh, yeah. Okay, it looks better now. Okay, let's go. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Another option is to head over to Trapper Homestead. If this weather gets worse before we make it over to Forlorn Muskeg, I'll just, I'll just head over to Tra Trapper Homestead. And I want to pick up a few sticks as we go, just so we can get a fire going, if we need one. And there will be more on the way. That's a good start, though. Feels 
Sounds like negative 14, not too bad. Not, not digging the wind direction at all. Because if we want to go that way, once we get off the map, I want the wind to... If there is going to be wind, I want uh, at least want it to help us, not hinder us. And there's a wolf crossing the tracks right there in front of us. So we do have wolf presence right there. Hopefully he'll be, right when we cross, he'll be well past us. We can always run, it to, run to the tunnel if we need to get away. But he is around, so. Alright, I'm gonna make a run for it. I'm gonna get past him. Should see his tracks here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's coming. I'm out of here. <laughs> Guess I made our decision for us there. Okay. Part of me thinks. Hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna go for it. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're going to go for the Trapper Homestead. This is gonna get nasty. That is getting nasty. We're gonna fill up our bellies at Trapper Homestead. Have nice. Have a bunch of water. Let's see if we can peek through here and not attract him. Maybe he decided the weather was going to be crap too, and he decided he didn't want any part of it either. I think he's gone. That wolf was gone. That was good. All right, let's just hustle. And it'll give us an added bonus to have an extra health when we do make it over to Forlorn Muskeg again. Another birch bark? Yeah, we'll take it. We will take it. I think if there's one down there, there should be another one somewhere nearby. If it respawned already. I don't see it, but that's okay. one of those uh, days where we have two blizzards I gotta see what the stats are on days survive versus the blizzards now we've got to be almost a one-to-one -one ratio by this point I'm thinking It's not the temperature. Was that protected though? I don't know. No, it's really not that bad for a blizzard. All right. <clears throat> this is 
wind is like not something I want to deal with. I don't mind the cold. I just don't want this wind. And I don't want to get thrown into a whiteout situation when I'm looking for a cave that I normally don't look for too much. I know I know right about where it should be, but in a whiteout blizzard, it's really easy to get turned around. Start thinking you're in a certain place and then you turn out you're not and that sort of stuff. So that's raw. That's rancid. And then we got cooked. Yep, there it is. I knew it was going to get bad. And there it is, the whiteout. Right about now, we'd be about halfway across the marsh at Forlorn Muskeg right when that blizzard hit. So that would be, uh, that would suck right now. And we got some water here, which is cool. A little bit of coal, a little bit of wood, and I got some sticks I picked up. Plus, we now have two cooking pots. So I think what I could do is uh, I'm just going to drop this meat here. <laughs> it's okay. We can eat that. Don't worry. Don't panic, folks. Don't panic. Dinner's going to be just fine. Alright, so I think what I will do is I'll cook up some water and cook up some more of this meat. Um, but I'm going to warm up first and then I'm going to go chop up some wood so we get some extra hours of burn time here. Because this we'll go through this really quick. And I don't want to really use the coal if I, if I can help it because we don't need the heat. So, yeah, let, me, let me just uh, rest here in bed. We're just going to pass time. Just until I'm warm. There we go. I want to go find a branch, and we're going to take some damage here. We're going to... Our health is going to go down, but I'm going to use some tea tonight to help with this. So, let's... Let's head up this way somewhere. Yeah, I know there's branches up here. Just got to see them. Should be right over this hill. There's one. We'll take it. Maybe I can even get sheltered. Nah, not this time. All right, we'll take it. All right, that's all the health hit I want to take. <laughs> but we got three cedar limbs, which should be an hour and a half burn time each. So that will really increase the amount of time we get from this fire. Let's get inside and start cooking a little bit. Free up our damn I'm freezing. Free up our uh, supplies here a little bit. Plus, it'll feel better, you know. Us. Let me see. Hold on, let me check out. Now we got birch bark tea. We got two of those plus a reshi tea, and yeah, we're in good shape. We're in good shape. But first things first, let's get ourselves a uh, nice fire going here. We'll use that plus what we have. Okay. <sighs> All right. Good. Good. Success. We'll take it. Let's add a few more pieces of wood here. There we go. Okay. We got a little bit of time here. So. What do I want to do? Is there anything I want to do? Not really. Just don't go back out into that crap. I'm thinking about busting this up. Hour and 57 minutes. That was 45 minutes, 45 minutes, but it won't take that long because this is deceptive. Things cook a little bit faster with the cooking skill and the, or the fire skill and all that. I don't think I want to break that down at the moment. Might break this down though. Oh, it's the same. Okay. We're not quite there yet. I'll save that for when we're really desperate. Let's just pass some time here. There we go. Let's get another batch going. 
And that'll be, uh, yeah. So that's gonna be four. This will be eight, eight liters worth of water. Basically, in this amount of time. Wait, I, I pulled some early? I must have pulled some early. That's okay. We'll, we'll figure it out. I got some tablets I think I can probably treat it with. No, don't drink that. Just... Treats one liter. So I can use these to treat both of those. So let's use it. There we go. Alright, now we're square. Not sure what I did there. I must have pulled it off just a couple minutes too early. So... minutes until dry. That, I think that's exactly what I did. Tongue feels like sandpaper. Yeah, add fuel. What do I want to add? Do I want to add anything? Reclaimed wood. Cook up some steaks. We got plenty of steaks outside, so I'm thinking no at this point. Um, might be able to cook up a small batch. Can we do 10 minutes in 10 minutes? Yeah, we can do that. Too heavy. 11, 10. Yeah, that'll work. Let's see it. Perfect. Pick this up. I think we're close to like 10 liters. 11, we're at 11. Nice. So let's drop a lot of this. Yeah. That seems about right. That leaves with two and a half liters. Cool. Okay. Well, let's... Uh, we're thirsty. Let's get our steaks here. Well, let me eat it straight from there. I guess it's a safety thing. There we go. Let's go ahead and drink our water. All right, man, it sounds so quiet and peaceful now. I kind of want to travel at night, but traveling at night isn't the best viewer experience. And plus, we're starting to get tired. Plus, I need to... You know what I need to do? I need to get the... Uh, I need to get a full night's sleep. That's what I need. And then use the... Eh, I don't really want to mess with that. Yeah, actually, that's what I want to do. I want to get a full night's sleep. So let's pass time here. Just get tired. Just And we're, we're, we're all in the white here, so we're actually gaining health very slowly, but we're still gaining health. But I think that's probably going to be pretty good. Let's go ahead and drink that rest or the uh, birch bark tea. There we go. Plenty of calories on board. Finish off with some more water. There we go. Now let's get some sleep. We'll wake up way before that, but our health should be up around seventy percent now. When we wake up, and it'll be. Daylight, and we're kind of back on schedule. Our sleep was a little bit jacked up there for a minute, but... All right. So we got tons of water. I could eat anything right now. Yeah, we got some coffee there, but... Uh, I want to go ahead and fill my belly with uh, rancid meat. <laughs> That's actually safe. There we go. Let's go grab another piece, take a look outside completely fill up then we'll go on our excursion and it looks like it's a pretty nice day but I thought the same thing yesterday I know it's cold I saw the three arrows pointing down on the temperature so that was only 71 calories that's a huge piece of meat for 71 calories I have to cook some more meat 360 thousand there we go Another thousand. Okay, we're good. Come on. There we go. Should be able to eat the thousand. Almost entirely. Perfect. <laughs> Almost perfect. Had a hundred and sixteen calories left over. Let's drop these. Let's see what the temperature is. Negative twenty two. All right, so looking here at the clock, I think it's time to sign off. 
for this episode. Uh, we're going to head back over to Forlorn Muskag. Find that cat. Uh, it might just be a day trip. Find that cave uh, next to, kind of on the, the opposite side of the map of where we were, uh, where I normally go, where the forge is. So head over there, harvest all the coal, bring that back. And then from there, I'm thinking we need to maybe do a little bit more exploring. Uh, we're going to need to make a bow. Um, maybe do a repair on the bare bedroll. I'm not sure where that's at right now. Just a bit, do some general repairs and then maybe head on over to the broken railroad maintenance shed, whatever region that is. I can't remember the name of that. There's so many regions now. Maybe head on over there because sometimes there's some good boots and good gear over there. Um, in Interloper, I'm sure it's uh, I'm sure it's nerfed quite a bit, but still probably worth the look. So, all right, guys. Well, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Y'all take care.